If you look to see Harry Potter sporting a pair of pistols and going on a very, very bloody killing rampage, then Guns Akimbo is for you. Can't believe that's just happened. Hello and welcome back to Come Geeksum. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for all future content. Guns Akimbo is by far my favourite film of this year so far. We are only on the 29th of February, but I've seen tons of films out so far in the last two months. But Guns Akimbo is number one on my list. It's just an insane movie. So obviously we all saw two years ago there was actually this photo of Harry Potter star Daniel Radcliffe going around the streets in those <laughs> the big claw slippers, guns attached to his hands and wearing his dressing gown and nothing much else and everyone was like what the hell is this movie? Well it's Guns Akimbo ladies and gentlemen and it also stars Samara Weaving who in my books at this moment in time she is gonna skyrocket to superstardom she is amazing in The Babysitter, which was the Netflix film. She, and obviously you had last year's Ready or Not, which again was another surreal, insane action film, but with a bit of a horror thriller twist, which is great. And now she stars in this one as Nyx, the woman who is, she's basically the psycho of the film and you know, she's mentally unstable because you find out certain things with the films, but that's why she's winning all the time, because she's just an absolute psycho. But Daniel Radcliffe comes in, he's just an ordinary person who literally just works on you. He works on this app game, you know, ones like Angry Birds and stuff, and he just goes from there. He likes to go on message boards, and he likes to cause shit, which... We all know what those type of people are like. You know, I get them in the comment section on some of my videos. So it's basically people like them. And then all of a sudden, the people who actually run the website called Schism, which actually has people strap them with guns and they go on a killing spree and they gotta kill someone else or they die. That's the gist of the story. So obviously, Daniel Radcliffe, he goes on, he basically pisses off the wrong person who is actually called Richter who is Ned Dennehy in this film, and he is from a lot of other great TV shows and movies. He actually starred with Daniel Radcliffe and Harry Potter and A Deathly Hallows, part one. So there's a bit of a thing there with them. But he caused the shit, they find him, they literally knock him out and they bolt the guns to his hands. And he has to kill Nyx within 24 hours or he's dead. That, that's the gist of the story. And that's the actual, that's the synopsis, and that's it. But then a lot of things happen in the film, which I'm not really going to talk about here because it will spoil the film. And I just got to say, the action is incredible. If you like Crank, Crank High Voltage, and all those type of films where it's just literally, it's just an insane concept. You know, Belko Experiment, Battle Royale, the original one. Condemned, another one with Steve Austin. It takes that kind of action and it multiplies it by a thousand. I was, I watched it and you know, I had a smile on my face the entire time because of how crazy it is. So with all of that, it's just, I just can't get over how great this movie was. And again, we all saw that photo a couple of years ago and everyone was like, what the hell is Harry Potter doing now? Well. He's turning into an action hero by the looks of things. And to be honest with you, the obvious thing at the end of this film, you do hope a sequel comes about, because obviously, like all films now, they try to leave it open. And I really do hope that we, could, we do get a sequel, because this film is just incredible. You will see people having a go at it. At this moment in time, the director is actually in a bit of a Twitter controversy where a DM got leaked and he said one thing which included words that are not okay to use this day and age. But the way the woke culture is and the way Twitter is at this moment in time, and they're automatically trying to go after his film now, trying to cancel it. It's like, come on, you know, you all think you're all the good guy because you're, how dare they do this, but you're really the same type of person who bullies others. 
If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates. And I'll see all you wonderful people soon.